Our planet is heating up. To limit global warming, we need to change on all fronts. A big step forward would be to decarbonize our trucks. In Europe, trucks are still mostly powered by diesel. They account for one quarter of Europe's road transport emissions. The alternatives are here electricity and hydrogen. But these vehicles are more carbon intensive than diesel to make, and both energy sources are still mostly generated from fossil fuels. So, how do they compare over their lifetime? To answer this, we analyzed the emissions of these electric and hydrogen trucks over their whole life, including manufacturing, operation, and emissions from the fuel production. While it's more carbon intensive to make a zero emission truck than a diesel version, these vehicles can drive over 1 million kilometers during their life. So, what really matters is the emissions during operation. Here, Batteries have the upper hand over diesel. Largely thanks to their higher efficiency, electric trucks emit up to 63% less greenhouse gases than diesel, even when using electricity from the European grid, which still mostly comes from fossil fuels. And renewable electricity is being quickly deployed, making electric trucks emit even less as our electricity becomes even greener. Hydrogen can be a clean fuel. But we're not there yet. Most hydrogen is generated from natural gas, which releases CO2 into the atmosphere. But trucks powered by 100% renewable energy, whether electric or hydrogen, would emit over 90% less CO2 than their diesel versions. Even compared to biodiesel blends, electricity or green hydrogen still come out on top. So, to protect our environment and limit the impacts of climate change, The high emitting trucks on our roads need to decarbonize quickly. Electricity, even when partly derived from fossil fuels, can achieve the needed reduction today. And fully renewable electricity or renewable hydrogen provide promising pathways for the future.